it's an entertainment product. It's the, 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 the best definition of, of La Liga. La Liga is football, it's sport, and we are all over the world. Uh, we are in, in, the, in the football industry, I think it's one of the best products. Uh, to have fun, to not just the 90 minutes of, of the match, even more during the, the whole week, we have more we are more than just 90 minutes also, and I think it's, it's I will define as an entertainment product. Uh, I think the, the, um, it was an important moment when uh, the, Javier Tebas, the former president, arrived to La Liga. He became the president in 2013, in April. He changed totally the mentality. But we started, uh, we started to work as a, in a different way, and we, we, we built the brand from these uh, actives that we have, uh, players, football teams, and now, uh, nowadays the La Liga, the product, is, is more than just players. It's a competition, it's, a, it's an entertainment, as I said before, and, and the, an entertainment product, and I mean, we, ha we have been growing from Spain to the whole planet. Uh, another important uh, date was when we created the, pro the project La Liga Global Network, which is a project based, I mean, it's a project that La Liga um, promoted in 2016. And we get, uh, we recruit talent from uh, different parts of the world, young, young people with uh, the love of sports and football, and uh, we send them to all over the world as a country managers. And we have more than 50 persons working uh, for La Liga in different parts of the world. I will define our international strategy with one term called global strategy. Global, but local. That is why we want to have people uh, in the territory or in the country where we want to develop La Liga brand. We want to be there, we want to feel the, you know, to, to be close to the main actors of the day to day of the society, sports and everything, but in the territory. That is why we have people there, working there. And uh, it's, uh, of course, we have this global mentality, but you need to work the, the territory in a local mentality also. And we want the territory to feel close to us. That is why we have this uh, global network, country manager uh, uh, project. We learn from all of them. The, every country is different and they have their own cult culture, their own way to do things. And we learn from all of them. That is why this project, La Liga Global Network, is really valuable also for La Liga, because we have information about the whole planet uh, every day. We have reports from, from all of them. And uh, we are simple. I think uh, our model is a simple, not, but not just for the sports industry, whatever in the world, but, for, for, but also for other industries. I think that what La Liga is achieving these years, the last, the past 10 years or eight years, uh, we did something that uh, not, not many, co many companies in the world has done. You know, we, we changed totally the mentality. We passed from more, let's say, a national mentality to a global one. And we, we grew as a company also in people. You know, we, when Javier Tebas arrived to La Liga, we were, uh, La Liga had like 40 employees. Now we are, 100, it's more than 600, uh, 600 employees all over the world. So this mentality, uh, I think it could help companies all over the world, governments, or, you know, it's, I think it's a, it's a good case study, La Liga, as a, as a company. I think we are in the good way. I mean, results talk. You know, we are growing, we are, we are having a more audience every day, we have more fans all over the world every day, we are growing in social media, in audience, everything. And next step is keep working. Uh, and it's really important to listen to the market. Listen what the market is saying, the changes. We have to be flex flexible, and we are flexible, and, and we have to get ready for changes and, and try to be there for any opportunity that appears. I think really important. Football is important all over the world, and we represent La Liga, it's the Spanish football. It's an amazing brand, but not just football, also sports. We are a reference all over the world in, in the sports industry. 
in individual sports, I would say tennis, Nadal, um, many, many samples, and in, in uh, team sports, you know, and, and I think La Liga has, uh, represent and, uh, we, we represent the football. I think it's, uh, we, we export that really good image of, of what the Spanish is in, in the world. We are not just uh, beach and, you know, and sand, we are more than that, we are also sports. <music> The profile, the profile. I mean, it's really wide, but uh, the most could be um, not really uh, old people, not really senior. I mean, we are we are senior in experience, but not in age. It's a, it's a thing. The over average of La Liga could be 40, 30 something years old. And of course, we love uh, sports. We love football, and we like our our work. We, we, if you go to La Liga, you see, a, you, you can feel a good atmosphere because we, you, people has a lot of compromise and, and you realize that you feel that people is where they want to be. I think that this is really important. And of course, people with uh, professionals with uh, good experience and with, uh, you know, education and university, but rather it's really important. The professional that works for La Liga has to be ready to work. You know, it's uh, the sports industry, the people that uh, work in the sports industry, we all have something in common. We are lucky. I say always that we are lucky because we love sports. We have this inside. And, but when you work in the sports industry, you have to be, you have to be ready to work during, uh, because you work in the, sport, in, the, in the entertainment industry, you have to be ready to work during weekends where you know you 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 belong to a or you prepare a, a product that the that the, the audience consume during their free time. But you have to work during this free time. And you have to be ready to have this uh, uh, schedule available for whatever and also you have to have this uh, global mentality. All of them. As I said before, La Liga, we were in 2013 when Javier Tebas became the former president. Uh, we were 40 people. Now we are more than almost 700 people. We have grown in all areas. You know, it's not, it's not a specific profile. We have uh, every day if you click on LinkedIn or I mean, you'll see that there are opportunities to work in La Liga in different departments. I wouldn't say one because it's, uh, it's really open. The values, of course, the, the, the values of the sport. We represent the sport, football, but sport. And global, La Liga is global. If you know, I mean, if you, if you become a sponsor partner of La Liga, you will become a, a you, your uh, um, exposure, exposure will be global. And I think one of the most important things is, is the, the most important things is the the, the team that the, this is behind your your after you sign the agreement, the the, the human resource that La Liga have to, to take care of this sponsorship. You will, as the moment you sign, you get in contact with the different department, activation, sponsorship, and we really take care of of of, of the sponsor, the, the our new partner. You know, and the, the partner, the sponsor, feels always really, I mean, really, really, really good because he feels that uh, that there is people behind this sponsorship. It's not just sign and we'll talk. No, sign and start working. Of course, the international TV rights uh, uh, negotiation and agreements are, let's say, is the main the main. Uh, income for La Liga, but also we have sponsors, we have uh, international agreements, which is not money, it's just uh, I mean different uh, partnership that we have all over the world, which is a really good branding for La Liga. And this is the way, sponsors, branding, of course. Finally, the TV rights, it's a, it's a result of the audience, the fans, but you have to work in the day a day to have better audience, to, to have more fans. More fans means, means I mean, more branding means more 
more funds, more funds means more audience. This is the equation and we have to be working every day in this, in this equation. La Liga, from the beginning, we, we bid for innovation. We think it's really important, the innovation, the technology. Uh, we signed an agreement with Microsoft many years ago, which is uh, our digital, it, it helps us. Uh, Microsoft, it's really uh, important for us because it's the, uh, our digital platform. And we are working in technology, we are going, working in digital, we are working in data. We have a really big department in technology and for us is uh, one of the, the main uh, keys for the success. It's the, it's the main way to, to get the direct contact with the fan all over the world. We care about the Spanish fans and the whatever fans, Chinese, Malaysian, Colombian, whatever. All fans are really important for us. Uh, the digital department has been growing for the last years. We last last year we achieved uh, uh, 100 million followers in different social media that La Liga has. We started in 2013 with 4 million. Now we are more than 100 million, and it's still growing with that. I think one of the most important things is that we have this direct contact with the fan, and we try to talk their language, not just the language as a as a language even the message, you know, we try to, to, to get closer to them, this fun engagement strategy, and we are, we are in the way and we are growing and growing every day. With this message, with this uh, content for, we, 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 we develop and we create a lot of content for these uh, new generations that, uh, of course, we know that uh, we have future and potential fans and audience in, on them and we, we develop a lot of strategies, uh, we create a lot of apps, games. We want to create these new products to get closer to the new funds. The old and the new, both, all are important for us. I think during the COVID, not just for La Liga or for the sports industry, I think for all industry it has uh, the COVID made us think more and use more the, let's say, I, I love one sentence, it's imagination to the power. Think is free. We have to think, we have to create new strategies, we have to, you know, new scenarios are coming and we have to get ready for them. I think this is the, a really important point, is the base. If you want to be ready to face different challenges, you have to, before that, you have to uh, get the tools to, to, to work with them. And I think to, to study uh, an MBA in sports or uh, whatever master in sport, and it, I think it's really important because uh, the sports industry has been growing and is still growing and will grow a lot. And the industry needs professionals to make the industry grow. And lucky us, we have more offer every day. I will say a personal uh, situation. When I, I finished my degree in business administration, I decided to, to work in the sports industry. And I said the, the easiest way is to, to study a master because I need this knowledge. In Spain, in 2005, when I did the master, we just had to Masters, one in Barcelona, one in Madrid. And I was working in Madrid and I decided to do it in Madrid. But nowadays, if you go to whatever university almost in Spain or all over the world, you have this kind of uh, education based in sports and education. And I think it's really good for the industry because we need these professionals. We are so happy with, uh, with this uh, agreement because uh, I think that um, two really important and global brands in the football and sports industry, we put together and we share our knowledge and expertise with the, or with, the, with professionals from the industry or the new or future professional of the, of the industry. And I think to create this environment, to create this a space where we change opinions and share this uh, 
uh, expertise uh, will be always positive to, to, to make the sports industry grow.